Hello and welcome once again to this uh, episode of Let the Bible Speak. We want to continue to look into what we saw last time. It's a very crucial topic and uh, I really feel the church is really uh, in, a, in an unhealthy way sometimes moving into taking up this authority that we think we possess and uh, especially these days where uh, churches that believe in Holy Spirit gifts and anointed prayer are really bound to work in this area and uh, <clears throat> so scripture is very important uh, for us to look into to come to a very clear understanding on this. Uh, the believer's authority is a, a very vital thing to understand and I really feel that uh, we need a lot of study to come to a proper conclusion. Now please note that in the scriptures the apostles uh, used authority to cast out demons uh, and or healing the sick. Uh, but when we look into their prayers, somehow we don't see them using the authority that we think they should. If they have been given authority and uh, uh, in a sense that they could just uh, command or, dec or decree something, we don't see that being used much in the life of the apostles. Their, their prayers were uh, more of asking or pleading to God uh, and uh, uh, if they knew that they could do that, they would have done that, I believe. So, for instance, there was a famine that was being pro that was prophesied and they would have uh, commanded uh, or declared or decreed the famine uh, not to come. Paul would have their, uh, his friend uh, who was sick and who whom he couldn't uh, uh, heal, uh, why didn't Paul just command the sickness to go away? So you see, uh, it is one thing to declare certain uh, truths in our prayers, and that's very important that we do that, using scriptures to declare uh, in our prayers uh, things that are in scripture and for us to work out our prayer in that uh, that respect but uh, to decree something to decree for something to come to pass is another thing and I believe this prayer of decree that we see being used these days uh, I, I, I strongly feel it is moving into a very uh, unhealthy direction because uh, where do we draw the line when we constantly decree in our prayers and we command the, the vessels to be clear or we command the blood vessels to uh, be made whole or we command the, uh, the, the country to change or we command, uh, so I've even heard people actually ask, commanding that others be saved, the husbands be saved, the wives be saved. So where do we draw the line? And uh, can you see, uh, as we constantly decree in our prayers, what happens is slowly that uh, we are actually putting confidence not in God who alone can bring the change, but in our commands and our decrees that we actually uh, work out in our prayers. It is almost like, uh, you see, we finally become little gods. And so it's, it's very, very important that we actually begin to see how, what, what, what was it that God wanted us to do. And uh, now one of, the, one of the most uh, important verses in this is uh, in Mark where we find uh, Jesus uh, 
uh, on and the fig tree incident where he cursed the fig tree and immediately after that when they saw it and asked him why it happened he told them like this in mark 11 all things uh, he said what uh, for instance in verse 23 he says well, whoever says to this mountain be taken up and cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes what he says is going to happen it shall be granted to him so you see there are a few verses like this which we actually work out uh, and try to present this uh, old truth without bringing other verses into play here. Now you see the very next verse, if you look at that carefully in Mark chapter 11 verse 24, uh, Christ himself uh, you, uh, speaks immediately about praying and, and he says in verse 24, all things for which you pray and ask, Therefore, his, I say to you, all things for which you pray and ask, believe that you have received them and they shall be yours. So, it's, 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 a, it's a prayer of asking and believing what we ask is what, is what is going to finally bring that thing to pass. If we use just verse 23 and begin to say that, hey, just command, there is power in your words and just command something. I believe we are quoting that verse out of context. Two things we need to understand here. First of all, he doesn't stop in verse 23. And secondly, the example he used here is not of trying to bring something to pass, but he was actually cursing the fig tree. So can you see, uh, Christ was not actually bring, uh, bring, presenting to us a principle by which we just command something to happen and it will happen. The, the example that he, uh, that he used was actually in the context of uh, cursing a fig tree and seeing that tree wither away and using this to teach us a principle of, uh, of what we can uh, achieve in our prayers. So you see, we can't, I, I don't think we can use this uh, verse just by itself to begin to uh, command for things to take place. There, there, the context there, uh, uh, especially is with regards to prayer and believing that whatever we have, we have asked, we will receive and therefore the confidence uh, that we will finally receive as we continue in prayer. I believe that's the context of this verse. And to begin to use this uh, and a few other verses to actually claim authority that we have, which we can use uh, as a, as to, to decreeing something into existence, I believe is a very dangerous thing. Do, believe, do believers possess authority? Let me repeat what I told you last time, and that is, of course, the Spirit of God works in us, and uh, there is a functional authority that we have the Spirit works in us and through us to make things happen according to the will of God and nothing can stop that. But if we think that we have become kind of little gods through which we decree something and the Lord has to sort of make it happen, in other words that we could use is whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And so using a few verses like this and coming to a place where we think we possess authority, which we could actually make use of in our, in our prayers and decree something to happen, I think is something that is unbiblical. And so can I just uh, once again uh, reiterate this truth and that is this, authority is something that is granted to us uh, only in the spirit and the apostles did not uh, use authority whenever they wanted and do whatever they wanted and especially power belongs to God and God alone and uh, we are just uh, instruments that he uses when he sees fit uh, and so we work out whatever God wants to see happen in and through our lives. We'll see you next week, uh, next time, 
and maybe another final episode of this we will stop with this topic and god bless you see you next time